Hello again folks, welcome back to the channel. Finally, me and Simon are back out again. Haven't been on a wild camp together for probably the early part of the summer. And we're on our way to Slowdonia. And as you can see, the weather isn't the best. We're expecting high winds, rain all through the night. We're expecting a bit of a battering. But, um, we got the um, Van Gogh Hurricane tent tonight, so we're going to give that a good testing, see if it holds out, I'm sure it will, because that tent is absolutely bombproof. Yeah, like I said, on our way to Slowdonia, going to do a wild camp in the pissing down ring, so yeah. Bring it on. Yeah, bring it on. Hurricane. We're not scared. We're not your fair weather cameras, are we, Simon? No. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes on. Yeah, so that's where we're heading. Come join us on the journey. Boy, we've had some water. This is nuts. We're trying to find this boffy, Kaye Moss Boffy. And the sat nav sent us up this road. And it looks like we're in someone's freaking back garden. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. This is not good. So explain uh, why we're coming to a boffy. Yeah, um, explain. We were gonna do a well camp. Me, Simon, and Danny. You've probably seen me before, but the weather has been that bad. It's just flooding everywhere. It's been an absolute nightmare. So I'll go over We decided to um, go to a boffy instead. So, but the thing is, we're in someone's um, backyard at the moment. We've got to go back out. <laughs> so this is uh It looks like it's private property yeah, now. Yeah. We'll have to park on the road here. And walk down. Yeah. Alright, no worries, see you in a minute. Yeah, so we're gonna park out there somewhere. And walk to the boffy. So that's the plan. 
So yeah, we'll pack up and uh, see where we go from here. Welcome back, folks. Just packed the cars up down there. As you can probably see. And Simon's got a bag of coal. And Danny. I've got wood. Yeah, Danny got wood. This bag weighs 10 kilos. So I'm probably carrying about 25 kilos of weight. And then my next sack is off. It would be worth it. <laughs> yeah, this is plan B, this is. So we're going to try and find Kai Amos Bobby and stop there for the night. And as you can see, the weather is atrocious. We've got a bit of a meandering on the corner. Check that out. Nuts. Thanks, mate. Want to carry one of them in? So we're walking. <laughs> so it's Bothy in Asavria. You see those peaks there, that's the Moyle Hebog range. Moyle Hebog, Moyle Aragoff and Moyle Hethin. So we're, well it looks like we're going through someone's land. But on the, it shows on the OS map that the path to this bothy is through here, so this is the way we're going. Just want to show you a new uh, piece of equipment I got. This Patagonia. Torrent Shell 3L jacket. I've been after a waterproof jacket for a while. Been looking at Gore-Tex and whatever else is out there. But um, I've, been, I've read good reviews on this on this coat. Um, we do a 2.5 uh, layer as well, but it's a three layer version. And it's for the 20, 20 2021 edition. So I've read. And apparently it's meant to be a good coat, so uh, <coughs> I think these conditions are perfect for testing this jacket out. Well, the OS map has taken us the wrong way. We've gone through someone's land, and uh, we shouldn't be in here really, so we'd have to get up here. Oh, he's Danny's telling me it's up there. I'll go for that. <laughs> Just the unknown is it. The unknown adventure, you could call it, I suppose. Anyway, let's see what is that. <laughs> let's see what happens here then. Going through here. Right, just changed the battery because the battery died already. That's a bit unusual, but the sat nav took us down. Well, sorry, the OS map took us down through his house and around to a dead end. So we had to come back round. And up this way, and apparently, the Bothy is just under a kilometre from from here. So this is the way we're going. If it's the right way, God only knows. But stay with us, and now uh, you'll find out. It's warmer than expected. Look, yeah, isn't it? A lot it's warmer. Back, yeah. I'm soaking from the inside out. Huh? That's the thing with waterproofs, isn't it? Yeah. I've got my vents under the armour just in. I need to get one with the vents. I'm not sure if it worked, I don't know. You want to dip that pocket up in case the seat comes down. As I said, that's Moyle Hebog. Next to it is Moyle the And that's where Owen Glindewood's cave is, which we failed to find on a previous video. Right. God, those steps are slippery. Right. Just follow the post now with the white on top. 
and I'll take a slip off you. It's quite a good adventure this, it's like be another boffy off my list and I've been to a few of them as you might have seen on previous videos so yeah we've done a bit of research on it it looks quite a good one this so right let's follow these posts and that'll guide us in I'll tell you what guys it's bloody sod's law isn't it We've resorted to plan B about going to the Boffy because we were going to pitch up um, somewhere near uh, Aaron on the reeved Reed V side of Snowdonia. And look now, stop raining, the clouds are higher. Bloody typical. But saying that, this will be dry. Get a fire going. Bit of coal, a few logs. Yeah. Nice chilli for tea. So looking forward to this. Awesome. There's the boffy. And it looks like the Pope's home. There is smoke coming up the chimney. So we're not going to have this all to ourselves as we first thought. Oh well. We're knocking the door now and see what sort of welcome we get. <laughs> but yeah we should be fine as long as there's not too many people in there but if there is we'll just pitch a tent outside we brought the tent with us so that's no not, not an issue really it's a bit of a pain in the ass mind you but can't be helped, can it? There's two hikers over there as well. I'm not sure if they've been to the Bothy, but uh, let's get in there and see what's going on. So there's my uncle's bag of coal. we just come to the Bothy. There's dudes in there, just, just give us a wave. And there's Danny over there. Yeah, so. The Nansley Ridge is that side. The Nansley Ridge? Yeah. So over that way you've got Craig in and Craig Gough. Yeah. And the Ridge is to your right. That's what I want to do for future, that is, the Nansley Ridge. More. Yeah. The Gans are going to use this to go up there. Isn't it? Let's take a look inside and see who's in. It's an MBA body. And this body is called Kai Amos. Hello. Come in the easy way, have you back? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> no, not in this, it's in the big. It's a bit dark in here, folks. Have travelled from them? Oh, yeah. Happy days. I'm just from Flint. And uh, these boys have come up from Cardiff. So you've got this bedroom with three, three beds in it. And if I show you across the corridor slippers sorry mate all right, all right. you've got a 
Oh, that's all right, it's fine. You got four, another bedroom with four. Four beds in there. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I can't see. That's it, yeah. I don't have nothing on, like. Did you? Yeah. It's on video, isn't it? You haven't got me like this, but no, hang on, I'm put the light on. So, this is cool. There's our bar. There's our bar, the mini bar. There's one hiding behind the dry bag. And Simon's, Simon's uh, hang on. The Hazy Jing. He's on the Hazy Jing. So, I think there is nine of us in here at the moment, isn't it? Nine of us. You've got three lads downstairs from Carnarvon. So yeah, I reckon we're going to have a good night here. The pillow's broke. Yeah, Simon's pillow's Hello. broke. So, um, don't buy out your Kel pillow, because they're a bit of a it just won't joke Kel. <laughs> it, it just won't blow up. I tried blowing it up, it just won't blow up, so something's... Either the valve has gone, or something punctured the bloody thing, so we don't... Just don't uh, inflate. So that's the, the upstairs. So let's show you downstairs. This is the most important part of the bothy, isn't it? The kitchen area. So looking around, you've got plenty of room for cooking all your food. Plenty of cups as well. Plenty of cups. You've got sinks with no taps, but. That's to be expected. So as far as Bobby's go, this is um, this is up there with the top in the top five I've been to, without a doubt. Right, let's show you the outside. Oh, the view as well. Hi, Amos. Yeah, that's the name of it, Kai Amos, if you didn't already know. And if you come here, and there was too many people in there, you could pitch up uh, probably three or four small backpacking tents there, because you got some flat level ground there, which would be ideal. When you when you're going wild camping. Sometimes the weather's a bit inclement, and then and then you sort of end up with something better. And I, I reckon tonight's plan B has been a bit of a godsend, really. It's been hammering down with rain all day. Nice bunch of guys in the bothy. We'll have a drink with them later on, and a and a little sit around the fire. So yeah. Happy day, Simon, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Very good. Right. Let's go and check out the toilet. I think this is the toilet area. Let's walk through the gate. You've got like a little ban. Not that you can see it. I'll go and get Simon's light now. And then, come through the back. And lo and behold, you've got a toilet. And a proper flushing toilet. And that's a first for me in a bathy. I haven't seen that before. I gotta be fair folks, that, um, if you're looking for a bothy to come to, 
I reckon this one's hard to beat. You got upstairs, downstairs, a fair size kitchen, two um, fair size bedrooms, which you can fit seven or eight people in. Right, tea time, folks. Tonight we're having homemade chili con carne, bag of rice each. I'm going to fire up the titanium stove and get it cooking. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Right, Simon's on rice duty tonight. Oh yeah. Just bring that to a rolling boil and add the rice. Ten minutes, boils in the bag. Ten minutes and we're done. Awesome. How's this food looking at kid? The rice. <laughs> it's like the X Factor in eh? Who's that Danny, is it? Yeah. He was a professional singer, wasn't he? Well if he if he was he wasn't give up. <laughs> Sorry, Danny, you are good, really. You Can you sing on a hill, far away? Oh, yeah, looking good. Cut. Looking good. Well, the sort of food's almost done. Where do we just go? There's a little door, yeah, let's have a look. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Ta da! That's all the design. Chili and rice. Beautiful. Nice fire on the go. Oh, here we go. This is the Elvis version of Diamond Song. Can't beat this. Yeah. Jesus. Fucking Christ. I'll have to join in and sing this one. Where it began. I can't begin to know it. Well then I know what's growing strong oh, Was in spring And spring became the summer Who'd have believed you'd come along Hands Touching hands Reaching out Touching me, touching you, oh, sweet Caroline. Good times never seem so good. So good, so good, so good. Oh, I feel inclined to believe they never would. Now I look at the night. And it don't seem so lonely We fill it up with only time <laughs> And when I heard Curtain runs off the shoulder How can I hurt when holding you? And I want Touch him warm Reach him down Touching me, touching you, oh, sweet Caroline. Good times never seem so good. So good, so good, so oh, good. Oh, I've been inclined to believe they never would. Yeah, 
put it beside me. A bit shit, the weather, so we put them on the other side of the wall and we were actually in the graveyard in fucking limp. Right there. Oh, I love you! Right then, folks. Welcome back to the Bobby. Yeah. I'll do a bit of a roll call. <laughs> He buys your diamonds. There's Tom Jones. AKA Danny Rush. But believe me. The cousin of Girl when he say Wales and Liverpool legend. Yeah, he can give you the world. Ian Rush. He'll never love you. He'll be a person. There's Simon. Steve. Steve. Chris he can and Paul. Take you any place you want to fancy clubs and restaurants, but I can only watch you wheel. My nose pressed up against the window pane. Well, how unexpected was that? You know, we weren't planning on staying at a bothy, but, uh, you know, the weather was uh, pretty atrocious, if you've seen on the earlier clips on the video. But, um, yeah, we should have been staying on a mountain, me, Mark and Danny, uh, while camping. But uh, after a bit of a, a conflab in, in a local pub in Beth Gellert, um Danny suggested staying in a, a local bothy. I'd, I'd never heard this one before. It's called the Kai Amos. So uh, we looked up on um, on the OS maps and realised it wasn't that far away. So we decided to come here. So yeah, what a, what a cracking night. We met six new people. Um, we had a good laugh, a few beers and a good bit of food. And uh, yeah, it was good. So uh, yeah, we're going to turn in for the night now and then we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Morning everyone. Welcome back to the boffy. Oh, there's Simon there. What a nice sleep that was. Beautiful nice sleep that was. Awesome, wasn't it? Mm. His bed's kind of as well. Yeah. Great. There's Danny's bed. I think he's gone downstairs. That's where I was. And looking out the window. There's a couple of sheep outside. And the weather's looking better than yesterday, that's for, that's for sure. There's the old jet boil. Got a pint of milk. Morning everyone, welcome back. So what do you reckon in Slime and that Boffy? Brilliant, epic. Absolutely incredible. Incredible place, honestly. Met some nice people, had a good laugh, a few beers. It's awesome. We've met another seven seven friends, mm. isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so we're all Facebook buddies now. <clears throat> Woke up this nice view, no rain. Just left up off, you know. Which is over there in the distance. We can make our way back down to the cars now. Fucking walk around all this bog.
yeah, so awesome camp out level. Met some new, more new people. It's great. Right, fetch you back. Let me get to the car. So that brings me into another bossy wild camp. Unexpected one that was, like you said earlier. Um, meant to be tent camping, but uh, what, a, what a great night that was. Me, Mark and Danny, and um, a load of other people. So, uh, thanks Dan for joining us on this one. Yeah, same. Good time. Back in night, lads. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. So, it's on the next one for me, Mark and Danny. Yeah. See you soon.